Here's my audience. One of them just sneezing. Two, three, four, five, and six. Is that the video? Yes. Okay. Do not follow the timer on that. Because otherwise I'll lose about 15 to 20 seconds. Again. Shit. Good afternoon. My name is Matthew Haller. Today I'll be giving you a speech on why you should not drink and drive. Okay. Next. How would you feel if someone you loved or lo was lost to a drunk driver or even lost to somebody that was dr driving and drinking? Okay, drinking and driving. Next. Just ponder that in your mind while we're going through this. There will be other questions. Drinking and driving has become a more prominent problem over the past 20 years. In 2010, more than 10,000 people died in alcohol-related crashes across the United States. That comes out to about one every 51 minutes or so. Okay, Did it again. Ultimate goal. And this speech is to increase DWI or DUI deterrence awareness and decrease alcohol-related crashes, deaths, and injuries. Next. Keep going. Buzz driving is still drunk driving. Okay, don't do it. If you drink just a little bit, don't drive. And we'll get into the ways to avoid DUIs a little bit later on in the speech. All right? <clears throat> Prior to 1994, nearly half of the drivers who died in crashes had been drinking. In 2002, alcohol-related fatalities rose to a little over 17,000, representing 41% of all traffic fatalities. Drunk and impaired drivers kill or injure one a person about every minute. Okay? That comes to about 65 deaths or injuries an hour. <clears throat> These numbers here uh, are based off the 2007 census up here at the top. Okay? Approximately 4.2 million people, no, people live in Louisiana right now. Just under 20,000 of those are going to die in vehicle crashes. And just over 7,000 of those will die in DWI crashes over the next 20 years. That's a lot. On typical Friday and Saturday nights, one out of every seven drivers leaving a bar is drunk. DWI, DUI. Alcohol-related crashes are four times higher at night. More than 30% of alcohol or accidents involve alcohol on the weekends. And 43% of motorcycle riders who died in crashes in 2009 had a BAC of 0 0.08 or higher. <clears throat> the average DWI violator drives while intoxicated approximately 80 times a year. Okay? It's about once every four or five nights, if you do the math for how many days are in a year. Okay? These are your professional drunks. The ones that go out drinking and on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, the not the non-weekend days, or you find them drunk at 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so no matter what time of day or week it is, you can still get injured or killed by by a DWI or DUI violated. Okay, drunk driving is often a symptom of larger problem: alcohol misuse and abuse. In America, on average, nearly 12,000 people die every year from DUI-related accidents. 900,000 are arrested, with about a third of them actually being repeat offenders. Your second, your third, your fourth offenses, which we'll get into those a little bit later too. For every DWI violator arrested, three others are contacted face to face and released without arrest. Okay? A lot of that is part and, part and due to improper training, or, or maybe they just don't care. Illegal per se law it is unlawful for any person to operate or be in actual physical control of any vehicle okay, within this state of Louisiana while having a BAC at or above the state's level, which for this state is 0 .08. Question number one, this is again one of these other questions just to ponder in your mind. Okay, Is it possible for a person whose BAC is above the state's per se law or presumptive level to be acquitted of DWI? Next question, is it possible for a person whose BAC was below the state's per se or presumptive level to be convicted of DWI? <clears throat> now we're going to kind of go into that. Louisiana basic DUI, DWI statute. In Louisiana, drivers under the age of 21 found out a BAC of at least .02 will be charged with DWI.
drivers over the age of 21 found to have BAC of at least 0 0.08 will be charged with DWI. Okay? If a driver's BAC is between 0 0.05 and 0 0.07, law enforcement can still charge him or her. All right? Basically, uh, <clears throat> it's because they've been doing drugs or they're just not right there yet. But as long as that officer can prove that your driving is impaired, you can still be charged under the illegal per se law. Okay? So that's where it comes in, where if you even have two drinks, don't do it. Okay? What it costs to get a DUI, DWI in Louisiana. Okay? Take a look at some of those numbers right there. Okay? First and second offense, you just get a criminal record. They're considered misdemeanors. Okay? You're still losing money. You can do mandatory jail time. Okay? And you can also receive up to more jail time, depending on what the judge says and how bad it is. Next. The third offense it becomes a felony. Okay? You're going to lose more money. You can spend years in prison instead of jail. You know, you're still going to spend time in jail, but you can get time in prison. Okay? Spend time in uh, uh, substance abuse programs, etc. Okay? Next. Fourth offense, again, still a felony. More money, more time in prison, more time in substance abuse programs and facilities. Next, ways to avoid DUI. Have a plan. Have a designated driver. Call a taxi. Don't drink if you have any of those, if you don't have a plan, basically, all right? Best way to beat it, don't drink and drive at all. You can't drive, you're broke, you're in jail, and you may have killed someone. That good time doesn't quite seem worth it now, does it? If you're the one that gets that DUI. Summary, drinking and driving kills thousands of people every year. We want our statistics, LA laws and costs of DUI, and National Highway Traffic Safety Administration ways to avoid DUI. Thank you. Right on the freaking money, huh?